Many times uh, when shooting on a white seamless paper backdrop, especially if you're using a side light, it's pretty common and pretty easy to start uh, picking up these wrinkles. This isn't so bad as sometimes you see, but you can still see that there's some wrinkles in the white white paper backdrop there. And in this case, it may not be too difficult to just use a healing brush or maybe the blur tool and try to smooth out that white background, but I recently found or learned a uh, faster method that will work on uh, you know the simple cases but also when the background is much more obviously wrinkled. So this method uses a technique called frequency separation and basically what frequency separation is, we won't go too much into detail, but it's a way of separating the image into high and low frequencies. Uh, the details, the fine details like hair and uh, small details of an image are contained in the higher frequencies and the tones and colors and everything else that's not a fine detail is contained in the low frequencies and in the description there's a link that explains frequency separation and more in depth than we'll go into here uh, but for our purposes you can download this Photoshop action for free there's a link in the description so once you install the action you just make sure you're image is selected, run the action, and your image is instantly separated into high and low frequency layers. We're just going to select the low layer and grab the lasso tool and just roughly, doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll just quickly outline our subject. <clears throat> We're actually selecting everything but the subject. so the white background containing all the wrinkles. And once, that, once that's done, we'll copy that layer and then create a new layer here, place it between the high and low layer, and then paste what we just copied. So if we hide the top layer and these other two layers, you'll see that we had just copied and pasted the white background layer containing the wrinkles. So now we'll go up and select filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And with the preview on, you can see that we can blur out those wrinkles pretty effectively. And in the uh, value up here in the higher range, we'll do a good job. Now, as you see, as I preview this on and off, that Gaussian blur is has such a high radius that it is starting to overlap onto our subject, but we'll fix that here in a sec. So hit OK. Now to fix that blur bleeding over into our subject, just make sure that layer is selected and then we'll create a layer mask. And get a brush and we're going to be painting black and just paint in on the edge of your subject, subject and that will bring back those areas that were faded out from the blur. So it's as simple as that. You can see uh, just a few seconds you can easily clean up a wrinkled paper background or fabric background. So there's the beef, the before and the after. Thanks for watching.